वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम टॉन मोय आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री केमिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैनिक रिएक्शन दिस मैनिक रिएक्शन इज अ एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन यू कैन से इट्स अ वेरी शॉर्ट डोमेन बट इट्स अ वेरी यूनिक मेथड मेथोडोलॉजी टू ऑब्टेन वन थ्री पोजीशन कार्बन ऑक्सीजन वर्सेस कार्बन नाइट्रोजन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो आई सजेस्ट यू प्लीज गो थ्रू द एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन वीडियो फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट कम दिस बिकॉज़ एल्डोल इज द पैरेंट रिएक्शन and i have mentioned about biochemistry trajectory also which will help you to understand the basic about aldol here all the cases the same strategy is followed so it will be better if you read that first and after that you come here okay so let's start so this is actually manic reaction means the reaction of an carbonyl uh, compound is formaldehyde and alpha hydrogen containing acid aldehyde so apparently it may look like that it is actually a cross aldol condensation reaction what do i mean means one thing this carbonyl is having alpha hydrogen and this is a this is not having any alpha hydrogen so you can consider this as a cross aldol condensation so what is happening you can see this is this is in presence of acl this reaction is happening so you can consider it as acid catalyst but the most interesting point is the presence of this secondary amine Generally, secondary amine. There are also examples of both primary amine. I'll explain these in the sub next video. So this is actually secondary amine, and this is the uniqueness. What is the need of this? If we react these and these, we will end up with ultimately this like a aldol product. Question: Why we are using? And that is the speciality about formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is sometimes called super aldehyde. Why? Because its reactivity is unique. What do I mean unique? because you can see there are two hydrogen so steady effect or bulk effect is very low here second point is it's a carbonyl group so bulk effect less no donation plus i effect is present consequently this is highly reactive and actually if we react this formaldehyde with acetaldehyde in presence of base what will happen it will prepare initially this ch2oh thrice uh ch or this carbon is attached to this carbon so you don't make mistake it is better to write in this way so this is so try uh, methyl ch2oh this aldehyde group and even not even reaction stops here if the concentration of base is higher this is a cross aldol condensation after that what happens can be a reaction and ultimately these end up with this this tetra substitution so you can understand the excessive reactivity of formaldehyde is a problem here so that's why in order to have a mild reaction condition it is needed to follow some another alternate route okay so this is so what we are going to discuss today about the basic concept of this manic reaction second is reactivity of formaldehyde which i have explained and advantage of this reaction and finally the reason for the success of this manic reaction okay so let's start first this is a super aldehyde i have explained why this is reactive so it is essential to reduce the reactivity and perform the reaction and second point since i have explained in alkaline condition what is happening so it is better to use a acidic medium that is the reason to follow this acl thing okay fine so this thing we have explained so reactivity part we have explained now the question is how the reaction is happening actually the reaction is happening you can see it is produced this is a carbon nitrogen we if we do the disconnection approach you can see that previously i told in case of alcohol hocc disconnection similar type okay so like this is so here the minus charge from here and another thing alpha to carbonyl could easily be converted into negative due to the formation of enol why am i telling enol because it's an acidic medium that's why so so this portion could be positive in nature okay so what is the strategy if we react this amine with formaldehyde it will produce that type of electrophile what do i mean if formaldehyde reacted with acl acl is a strong acid it releases proton consequently consequently this formaldehyde is protonated and chloride is in counter anion now this is more electron deficient compared to this due to the positive charge so what happened after that amine will undergo a nucleophilic attack to form uh, this to the sp3 intermediate 
So what happens after that this open this OH and this is also here in HOH. So proton is released from this here and proton is added. Next it's the simultaneous stage I have not written. So after that it will so after the eliminate after the attack it will be just OH. So after that this OH will be protonated again to form OH2 plus. Now you may think that in reaction medium there is formaldehyde, there is HCl and there is amine and we know that amine is a stronger base then why the reaction will happen on this uh, oxygen? It should happen on this. Actually this protonation, deprotonation, everything is a reversible process. Maybe in reaction medium everything is present with some difference in amount but in this way reaction proceeds. And since the equilibrium proceeds in this way, actually we should write everything is in equilibrium. So proceeds in this way. So ultimately, this is the product, and due to the formation of this stable product, the equilibrium comes in this relation. So never get confused about the fact. So what happened after that? It attacks and it opens up. And here you can see after protonation here, now it becomes a good living group. I suggest you please check my one of my video about the nature of living group. So that thing you can understand why OH2 is a good living group explained in detail. So what happens? This nitrogen it wants to leave and nitrogen has an electron pair it pushes and it leaves. Okay. So ultimately what happens? What are eliminated? And it produces this iminium, iminium cation. Why I am saying iminium? Actually C double bond N is imine and contains a positive charge that's why iminium cation. So this is actually a electrophile here. So instead of formaldehyde, this iminium cation is acting as an electrophile. And what happens? This iminium cation is attacked by the enol produced from the aldehyde. Okay. So what happens? This produces uh, this produces the enol. I have explained the enol production this mechanism in the aldol condensation video in detail. So I suggest you please go through that. Why I have written 1H, I will explain it. So this is an enol produced and what happens, this enol pushes electron and this, this, this attacks here. Actually attack happens from this direction. I have already uploaded one video about Barbidumich trajectory. You can, where you can have a complete understanding why attack happens from this at around 107 degree. If this value varies slightly with respect to substrate to substrate. So this, so after that what it produces? This produces, this produces the, the uh, sorry, okay, what it produces? This produces this intermediate. So it comes and it goes up. So this intermediate is produced in this way. And another thing, since it's an acid medium, so amine will not remain as an amine. It will be in a hydrochloride form. And at one of the advantage I have told that this is, this could be separated easily through fraction money. Uh, this could be separated easily through crystallization as it is a salt. So this is the first step happened. After that what happened? It, after that first it present made alkali using alkali. Because it's a HCl salt we have to remove HCl. Okay. Now when we have removed this HCl right now this lone pair is available and that is the reason this nitrogen is getting alkylated by methyl iodide. And methyl iodide is a very good alkylating agent as Methyl is electron diffusion, electrophile and iodide is good living group. Okay. So what happens? It produces this quaternary ammonia halide salt and the iodide. So this reagent, this quaternary ammonia halide, this, uh, sorry I made a mistake. Yeah. One carbon is excess. So, okay, no, 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 fine. So this is, so what happened? This is right now a quaternary ammonia halide and you can uh, think that you can compare this as with beta hydroxy carbonate. Why I am saying this? We know this is alpha, this is beta, and this is other substituent. This beta hydroxy carbonate undergo dehydration in presence of acid or alkali to produce alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl product that is aldol product. So, in this way, similarly. Keep this factor in mind, this same concept is followed here. Instead of it was previously, if it is acid catalyzed, uh, acid catalyzed uh, this dehydration, then what happens? This OH is converted into OH2 plus, and after that, this proton is abstracted, and 
this eliminates to produce the alpha beta. The concept is similar here. So that is the reason why this proton is initial. I told why you have written here two proton. What is the needed? For attack only one proton is needed. But for this thing, this second proton needed. So what happened? It is now a salt and in presence of base, this base abstract this proton and it provides and it eliminates. So it produces this ultimately alkene. And another thing, if you look closely the factor, this anion is actually generated here, means this, and this anion is generated here. So, this anion is also resonance stabilized, so that's why it is generally, you can see, E2 type elimination. Okay, so this E2 type elimination is, uh, this E2 type elimination pathway is followed to prepare this CH2. So what is the basic difference about alkyl condensation? Basic difference is the CH2. In simple alkyl condensation, we can't introduce this CH2 group, but here we can introduce this. So this is the actual the, uh, advantage of this reaction. Okay. So I will summarize the advantage uh, better so that you can understand the thing properly. So I forgot one thing to say to you about the name of this reagent. This reagent actually name as many base okay so please keep it in mind it may ask in exam what is the many base among this 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 so don't be confused this is the many base so so no charge there should not be charge so this is the many base so and many base if we say it is alpha beta beta amino carbon this is the many base okay so what is the reason or summary of this global process first of all the summary is achieved due to this selectively reactive electrophile or electrophile that is, is imidium cation compared to the formaldehyde as formaldehyde is very reactive means superaldehyde. Second step, second step is the RD step which is one of the most important thing. What? See, this we have seen that the aldol condensation, the attack of one enol to another carbonyl is the RD step. Okay? We consider because of the bulkness but here Due to formaldehyde's less bulkness, this is not the RD state. So, what is the RD state? This is the enolization, means formation of enol in presence of acid uh, from this carbon, um, carbonyl group, means it could be aldehyde or ketone, anything. So, that is the RD state, not this state. So, that, that's why reaction is more facile in this case. Third, beta amino carbonyl compound is less basic than the parent aldehyde. What do I mean? This is if you consider this beta amino carbonyl versus this. Here, this group is attached to this amine and it is a withdraw electron withdrawing in nature. So, consequently, we know that alpha halogenation of ketone under acidic condition provides monohalogenation, not more than that. But in case of base, in case of basic condition, it produces tri. So why that happened? I have explained in alpha halogenation of ketone video. Please go through that. You will have a details understanding. What happens? This is electron withdrawing group in nature, and for enolization, it is essential to have an electron rich character of this oxygen because it is electron withdrawing in nature. Consequently, what will happen? Electron density will decreases here also. And that's why the def electron deficiency ultimately there also some what so react in we can say this is this final carbonyl compound is less electron rich compared to this so reaction we will prefer to have from this center not this center okay and um, another thing that this manic base is I told that often it get precipitated out from the reaction mixture as hydrochloride salt. So this is the overall overall description about this manic reaction to produce, which produces ultimately an aldehyde or ketone and formaldehyde to an alpha beta. This double bond, this is a and this end is CH2. This is the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So this is the end of this discussion. In the next video, I shall explain about mechanism, which will help you to have a clear understanding about this reaction. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for listening. And if you like my uh, teaching, please give a like and share this video among your friends so that many people will be benefited from my effort. And finally, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So till now, stay happy, stay blessed, study well. See you in my next video.